The Lockheed XP-58 Chain Lightning was an American long-range fighter developed during World War II. Although derived from the successful P-38 Lightning, the XP-58 was plagued by technical problems with its engines that eventually led to the project's cancellation. Topic design and development The XP-58 was a Lockheed Aircraft Company-funded initiative to develop an improved Lightning as a long-range fighter following the release by the U.S. Army Air Corps of the Lightning for sale to Britain on 20 April 1940. Initially, two designs were formulated, both using the Continental IV-1430 engines. One would be a single-seat aircraft with one 20 mm in cannon and 4.50 in mm machine guns. The second would be a two-seat aircraft with the addition of a flexible .50 in mm gun at the end of each tail boom. In July 1940, Lockheed decided to switch to Pratt & Whitney XH-2600 engines as the aircraft would be underpowered with the Continental engines, with the aircraft having two seats and designated XP-58. However, soon Lockheed was advised the development of the XH-2600 engine was terminated. After consideration of the engine alternatives, the design was changed to use two right R2160 Tornado engines, as well as a change of the rear-facing armament to two turrets, one upper and the other lower on the fuselage, each turret containing 2.50 in mm machine guns. As support equipment for the two crewmen was added, the estimated weight of the XP-58 grew to 34,232 pounds (15,527 kilograms) by August 1941. In March 1942, the USAAF placed an order for a second XP-58 that would incorporate increased fuel tanks to obtain a range of 3,000 miles (4,800 kilometers). The Air Force were uncertain about the role and armament of the aircraft, and in September 1942, a decision was made to convert the aircraft for a role as a low-altitude attack aircraft, armed with a 75mm M5 autocannon. Adequate aircraft were already available for this mission, with the Douglas A-26 Invader and Beechcraft XA-38 Grizzly under development. As a result, the second XP-58 was cancelled and the role of the design reverted to that of a high-altitude fighter, using large bore cannon firing high-explosive shells to break up bomber formations. The 37mm M4 autocannon was originally selected for a quadruple mount in the nose, but the trajectory of the 37mm shells dropped lower than other weaponry, limiting its effective range. A hydraulically articulated nose that could be bent up to correct this problem was tried, but was dismissed as too complex. Then, a 75mm in M5 autocannon paired with twin .50 in mm machine guns was tried and proved much more successful. Testing In February 1943, use of another engine, the Allison V3420, was necessary due to poor progress with the Tornado engine development. With this change, the second XP-58 was resurrected. The XP-58 finally flew on 6 June 1944, but flight test work on the XP-58 took second place to other higher priority developments. Eventually, 25 test flights were completed. The XP-58 was then flown to right field for USAAF acceptance tests, even though the turbo superchargers were experiencing torching and a number of systems were not installed including provision for cockpit pressurization and armament with its fire control equipment. Although the prototype arrived at right field on the 22nd of October 1944, the aircraft was a maintenance headache and no further trials were conducted. The construction of the second prototype was abandoned. Topic. Specifications XP-58 Data from Lockheed Aircraft since 1913 General characteristics Crew, 2, pilot and gunner Length, 49 feet 5 and a half in 15.07 meters Wingspan, 70 feet 21.34 meters Height, 16 feet 4.88 meters Wing area: 600 feet squared, 55.7 square meters. 
empty weight, 31,624 pounds, 14,344 kilograms. Max takeoff weight, 39,192 pounds, 17,777 kilograms. Power plant, two times Allison V3420 24 cylinder liquid cooled engine, 3,000 horsepower, 2,238 kilowatts each performance. Maximum speed, 436 miles per hour, 379 knots, 702 kilometers per hour at 25,000 feet, 7,620 meters. Cruise speed, 283 miles per hour, 246 knots, 455 kilometers per hour. Range, 2,650 miles, 2,304 nmi, 4,265 kilometers. Service ceiling, 38,200 feet, 11,645 meters. Rate of climb, 2,582 feet per minute, 13.1 meters per second. Armament. Guns proposed: four times 37 mm, 1.46 in M4 cannons, or one times 75 mm, 2.95 in M5 cannon, and two times 0 .50 in 12.7 mm Browning heavy machine guns in interchangeable nose. Proposed: four times 0 .50 cal, 12.7 mm Browning heavy machine guns in two remotely controlled flexible turrets in the rear. Topic. See also Aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Bristol Bowfighter Northrop P-61 Black Widow Related lists List of aircraft of World War II